Okay guys, so you're probably wondering what am I exactly doing here? Well, I'm basically, I'm just playing around and seeing what I can do with these multi-tracks for Michael Jackson's song, Bad. Sometimes I gotta say that in a weird way a bit, just so I don't confuse with something that's like literally bad, like, like when I criticize something. So right now I'm just working with the drums and seeing how they sound. Okay, I'm not really sure what happened there. Again, I'm only look at, I'm only commenting on this as an editor, like like an editor's note, kind of like what you get from commentaries on feature films. So overall, as you can see, what I'm doing here is seeing what I can do with reverb and the claves. Honestly, this is probably not something that adds a whole lot to the song, so I'm probably not going to get much of a difference if I have it off. Okay, so the claps are definitely interesting because with that, since they're pretty much as raw as they get, they're basically not as snappy or as heavy as in the recording. So what I'm doing here is using a single band compressor, a Dynamics Processing, and some Studio Reverb. This is the kind of stuff where you have to be really careful with. I'm going to do something to make it a little more like a, it's a machine thing or who knows it probably doesn't need to sound that processed. I'm going to try it anyway. Okay, so the de -esser definitely gets rid of a bit of resonance if you have high voice de -esser as the preset. I'm going to replace it with dynamics or specifically an auto gate. Right now, I'm, I'm just messing around at the point of this um, video. Okay, I think the diffusion definitely makes it sound less effective. So I definitely want to low down that diffusion. Also, reflections cannot be very high either because you got to make sure that while you can have the thing as punchy as you want to, but you also have to make sure that it doesn't muddy up the mix. So you can't make it the heaviest you can be if everything else is not going to sound good when you have it all together. So you can see here, I'm being very careful. Okay, I don't think that sounds bad. One thing that you guys probably didn't notice in the original recording on like like the original studio recording or maybe not not that but full official mix was the claves or at least those patterns that you're probably hearing. Like how there are those um quick notes kind of like a flam except it's probably not that. I think they're common in Latin music or something but I don't know. Or is it Cuban? I don't know, you guys tell me, or I'll probably look it up anyway. So when I've been looking at, when I've been listening to those songs, I've been thinking to myself, am I actually, was Michael actually stopping to the beat or something? 
I mean, it is definitely good, though. I'm, I'm surprised it's, and the it's not the right not to the tell you once but, again who's bad. All right, I was just going to let that thing go while I was commenting, but... Uh, I'm surprised you don't hear that in the full mix, because it does sound a little apparent, but maybe it just gets... Maybe it's not loud enough to not be muddied up. And now here I am with the vocal art of... Your butt is mine. Go take a ride. Just show your face. Broad daylight. I'm telling you on how I feel. Gonna hit your mind. Don't shoot here. Chum on. Chum on. Get on me. I don't think you really need that. I don't think we, we, I would really need that overdub. My, my Michael sounds really good without it, or at least sounded. He, he's he's not around the now. But to the way, again, who's I think he was always best with without an overdub. Or same goes with a lot of singers, really. But yeah, but hey, I definitely I'm definitely to gonna keep the who's bad. Again, who's bad? Except, well, that bit I was just playing rounds, but without the pitch and guitar, I think it's fine. Lock you up before too long. No lying eyes. Eat this minute too. But my friends have seen nothing. Just a way so I get through because I'm bad. I'm bad. Jump on. If there's one thing worth noticing is that um when it's against when the whole gram ends of I don't know that part, but at that part Michael isn't isn't actually singing it along to the exact notes in the main vocals. It's like when the whole gram ends to answer. Yeah. Okay, so that's part of the intro. I think it's probably a little better with that or more, or more full. All right. So what I was going to say about the voice is that notice that Michael um, isn't doing that right, right before who's bad. He isn't saying a lot with, with the same notes about your vocals, which really makes it feel like a harmony. I like that. Probably stuff you obviously hear in the recording when it's in full mix. But not sure about those muted tabs. So I'm starting to wonder what that bass sound was. Like, was that a preset or was that like two presets recorded together? Like, maybe it was with um, MIDI output and using two sounds at the same time. Those strings are pretty nice. I'm not sure if that guitar thing is a loop, but I have yet to know when I get more research. Dude, what's going on there? Okay, that's pretty weird. Definitely. I definitely want to know how that was achieved in the 80s. Oh, that part's kind of random. I don't know what's that. I don't know what that's from there. Oh, even that one. Okay, obviously those are not needed. Seriously, I want to imagine how that... I want to know how that's done... Or the, how that was done back in the late 80s, because it is pretty in interesting. 
kind of avant-garde too with how it sounds as well. So right now I'm kind of doing volume control stuff. And then that, yeah, that's the organ that you hear in the recording when it's in the full mix. Like the official full mix. I don't know why it keeps in recording because everything here is being recorded. At least that's what I assume. But yeah, full mix, that's what I mean. Okay, so what did you guys think? Did you guys think it was pretty cool or no? Either way, I'll definitely do more multi-track videos like this in the future, but for now, definitely stay tuned when you can. So, yeah. Later, guys.